think nobody would really wish to experience especially if you're really just in a foreign land if you're in a foreign country it's something that nobody would ever want to experience yeah but it happened to me it happened to me and it was hi guys welcome back to my channel ivy here a girl from the lake side aka nyar ochot odong <laughs> do you know chot odong do you know chot odong you don't know chot odong you'll see you'll see chot odong one day when akode goes home the place she likes taking photos from that signboard is a chot odong <laughs> anyway guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in to this video guys if you are a returning subscriber or if you are a new subscriber i'm so much happy to tell you some nice stories story time with ivy <laughs> so guys i want to talk about in this video i want to talk about why i came back home from germany and also the experience i had why in germany like how germany was and all that yeah so that's what i want to talk about in this video guys so stay tuned it's gonna be so nice yes so guys i went to germany i went to europe <laughs> oh. so guys last year i left the country and traveled to germany around march so i was outside the country for the better part of the year yeah yeah and uh, you know when i before i went i was really excited i, I was like i was waiting to reach there i was like oh my god I'm going to Germany. I'm never going to come back. No. I was definitely going to come back. But anyway, I was like, no, not like never going to come back. I was like, oh, I'm never going to turn my head. Eh? I'm never going to. <laughs> I thought like all the good things were there that on the other side of the world, guys. But I was wrong. I was wrong. But let me tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about everything or most of the things so you just get to hear them so the first thing i want to talk about guys um, the one of the experiences or yes some of the things that i want to talk about one of them is uh, about the german dads or the men in germany and uh, it has to do with the uh, being involved in family and it has to do with house chores or something like that because what i saw there was different from what i was used to here where men can't even remove the, the, the their utensils that, that they've used for having breakfast or they've used to eat yeah something like that that's what i know that's what i've really <laughs> experienced with the us on this side yeah like all this kitchen stuff children those are duties of the woman the woman has to do them women have to take part in that fully without men men being involved but that was something i didn't see the other side because everybody is involved in, when it comes to children because i used to hey guys i saw i used to see men going to the playgrounds with kids like men taking their kids to the playground all by themselves without the woman or men just cooking and putting the dishes away or arranging the dishes it was something strange to me for me it was strange i don't know about you maybe you Maybe your the men in your village here in Africa do that. They take the kids to the playground, <laughs> or they they get inside the kitchen. They cook, but things are changing nowadays. I I, I understand things are changing, but it's yeah it's it's really something that we most of us are not used to seeing men like involved like all the duties. People equally do duties at home, not that women should do this like a man should just put the legs on the table and eat but things are changing guys yeah i like the fact that nowadays our african men are really involved and are trying to like do stuff that they thought they couldn't do way before <laughs> yeah so I, I i believe things are changing and everybody is getting involved when it comes to family when it comes to uh chores like it's good to help each other if you are married especially let me tell you it's good to help each other help your wife take care of the children help your wife with the chores like help each other it's it's really nice when you help each other <laughs> yes so that's the first one the second thing i want to talk about guys is um something to do with the roads you know when i reached there hmm? when i left here i was used to running all over running all over the roads even when i'm using zebra <laughs> even when on zebra crossing but 
my encounter there was so nice like you know when the moment you step on the zebra the car will just stop the car has to stop they have to stop hmm? and let the pedestrian pass and i really love that that was so nice it was it was something so new to me because i was used to the, the chaos of running here and there even when i'm crossing the zebra i'm like oh no i'm scared maybe this person you know it's it's so different here by the way guys sincerely because here some people who drive always don't want to stop at the zebra but they should they should let the pedestrians pass at the zebra they should that's what should happen yeah so the other side back in germany i used to enjoy crossing the roads because the moment you step on the zebra ah, automatically the car has to stop hmm? yeah and i heard that even without even if it's not the zebra guys as long as you are a pedestrian and crossing the road because not everybody like follow the, the rules of the road you know during the first days i was really like this person who followed the rules like i will just be there standing before when it's still red when the, even with no vehicle imagine i'll just stand there waiting for it to turn green that's when i could pass i was so disciplined in the, because there's so much i think there's some kind of discipline that those people have that when you read there it just gets into your system <laughs> it's good i think it got into my system so i never used to cross the roads when the lights were red even if there was no vehicle coming imagine <laughs> ah discipline so i used to enjoy crossing the roads anyway because I, it was not chaotic and I would definitely know that nobody would knock me maybe it happens I don't know because definitely there's some reckless drivers but most of the time while crossing the road I used to find it so peaceful and different from here yeah so that was that nice that was really nice now I'm back to running on the road the next thing we talk about guys is food something to do with food <laughs> chakula 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 essen 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 is food in German, love it. Yeah, so you know when you go to a new country, before you go there, you wouldn't think of something like oh food. You would just think ah, everybody gets to eat in the world, so there's nothing big about food. Not knowing there's so much difference in there's so much difference in food back there and what you're used to. Because let me say most homesteads in Africa we are used to eating like three meals a day or we're used to warm food in the evening yeah we're used to cooking dinner in the evening whereas there it's it's not the same it's most people like what i experienced guys you know people those people love bread a lot those people love bread imagine somebody just takes bread and then they eat with maybe avocado toast or the bread with some something they, there's something called salami they, they they used to that is there that you just put on bread and you can eat it you know such things and you call it dinner hmm? they also used to do a lot of soups those people do soups hmm? and they also love pasta pasta with soups or bread you know and me i'm from where we used to cook every day at home we used to do different meals hey my friend it was not that easy for me it was not that easy when it comes to food it took me some time before knowing where i could even get ugali flour before knowing where I could even get an African shop to buy some things, some stuff I could really enjoy as an African because <laughs> as much as you want to experience the new <laughs> the new food uh, system <laughs> yeah it was not that easy for me yeah imagine soup, broccoli soup, tomato soup, pumpkin soup <laughs> soup in a kasadi Hey guys 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 well when it comes to food yeah you really also <laughs> it's something somebody would want to really think about before leaving the country but yes i got to experience the new i got to experience the new system <laughs> with eating and also the breads were really nice i miss the breads there the german germany has so many types of bread or breads <laughs> yeah that you can really get to enjoy different types of bread yeah, and they they're really nice i really miss the bread part yeah so the food yeah it was not easy getting used to it but at some point i got used to it and yeah i knew where to get some stuff from african shops yeah yeah so that's it about food nobody would really 
wish to experience especially if you're really just in a foreign land if you're in a foreign country it's something that nobody would ever want to experience yeah but it happened to me it happened to me and it was and guys we come to the end of this video i'm going to do part two of this video because there are so many things to talk about all the experience i had in germany all the nice things all the bad things all the things <laughs> so guys i'm going to do a part two of this video i've only talked about four things that i experienced like how different they were from what i'm used to in here in kenya yeah so i will do a part two of this guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video please drop a like drop a comment please subscribe send it to your friends yes share it with your neighbors share it with your workmates share this video with everybody who's in your life guys thank you so much thank you thank you so much